Uday Shankar. He's the Senior Vice President of Engineering at WSO2. And uh, he is one of the uh, sort of founders originally, uh, is a Sri Lankan, that's of WSO2, and has a footprint in several countries. And he will talk about his experience in Jaffna. And we've sort of asked him to look at it from a learning point of view, because that's something we need to know to understand some uh, how the experience of people who have been in Jaffna and then stopped their operations in 2017. Please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Enka. So I will talk about our opportunities and challenges. Uh, this is based on the experience we had in Jaffna. Uh, we ran the operation for about five years. Uh, recently ceased in 2019. Uh, we moved back to Colombo. So again, uh, this is based on my uh, experiences. So first I'll start with the setting up the offices. Obviously that is one of the um, main criteria as uh, uh, John said, again, the office has to be very attractive for uh, people to uh, be happy to work from there. Uh, so when we set up, uh, we uh, primarily look at the location, uh, which is our main important point, uh, which we wanted to be somewhere near um, uh, place uh, like uh, somewhere near the railway station where we could be able to easily access from uh, southern parts of the country and uh, we set up the office uh, again there are many uh, other criteria you can do but I mean especially when you are having offices in other parts of uh, Sri Lanka uh, our advice is to keep the offices with uh, similar facilities again people are going to compare the offices from here versus uh, somewhere else in Sri Lanka and uh, they might uh, compare and uh, then might want to uh, move back to other offices, etc. I'll come back to some of our experience on that angle as well. Uh, so we have done a very nice uh, office. Uh, again, communication facility, uh, most of these are going to be remote. Uh, so please give uh, uh, enough attention to the communication facility, especially like uh, fiber optic connections to uh, having a good bandwidth of network and phone facilities. Obviously, there are like Hatch in, Sri Lanka, in, in Jaffna, which is a co-working space. If you don't want to set up an office, uh, please talk to them. Uh, they are very helpful. Uh, they had an office just below our office in, uh, in, uh, in Jaffna. Uh, again, nice office. Um, we can um, talk to them and get some office space uh, with them too. So the second aspect was on hiring. Again, uh, we didn't have any issue with hiring. Um, we had a great experience with the uh, University of Jaffna. Um, there are two faculties uh, we were primarily hiring people from. When we start operations, it was only uh, the computer science department in faculty of science in uh, Pinnell Valley. But later on in last couple of years, uh, even the department of computer engineering, uh, faculty of engineering from Pinnell uh, again, had a, a set of people there. Uh, also, there are several private universities. Uh, Sandan has talked about initiative by YALIT as well as UKI. So there are plenty of supply of people, good quality people you, know, you can hire. Uh, in our experience, university staffs are super helpful, uh, even to find the location, even to find people uh, pointing us to the correct directions. Uh, Dr. Gapodaran, uh, Dr. Ramanan, um, Dr. Maheshan, uh, I, can, uh, I mean, all the people we have interacted, they were super helpful. And uh, they were running uh, career fairs on an annual basis. Again, that is uh, one of our primary source of getting people. Uh, they arrange all the facilities. We can go and uh, uh, interview people, hire them on the, uh, from the university itself. And they also run internship programs uh, where we can get people, uh, I guess it's from their third year, uh, they will come to the company for six months doing their internship and back to their final year. Again, uh, we can earmark some of the people uh, whom we want to hire later on uh, when they finish their graduations. However, our challenge was hiring uh, experienced professionals in Jaffna. It was a huge challenge for us, uh, again, uh, Jika uh, has talked about it a bit. Most of the people are in Colombo. So we couldn't be able to find people, even uh, some other people whom, when they get experience, they were tend to move to Colombo. 
uh, because of uh, so many other facilities available in Colombo compared to Jaffna. So it's kind of a vicious cycle which we were trying to break. Right? The third important factor for us was to keep the lively office environment. This is uh, one of the main criteria. Um, again, having, a, having enough people in the office for liveliness uh, is very important. We were uh, kind of trying to hire our, our office capacity was about 30 people. We were trying to uh, do several other uh, activities like meetups, uh, hackathons, and, uh, and, and uh, internship programs within Jaffna office so that we can keep the office lively uh, uh, at a continuous time. This is very important because again, the people, uh, people, can, uh, people have to feel happy to go to office and work from there, uh, given that uh, people can work remotely, et cetera, unless they have a real motivation to go to office, they might tend to work from, work from home and then it might uh, reduce the number of people uh, whom we can attract to. Again, uh, people want to have the social interactions and that is one of the main important factor for them uh, to have a happy uh, work-life balance, et cetera. And obviously, as I mentioned, co-locating with other companies might also solve some of the problem, uh, especially on the social interactions. Uh, yeah, people will see lots of other people in the office then they might be interested to go to office and work from there. Again, one of our important uh, observation and important experience was we need to have a strong lead. Again, Jagan has touched it very nicely. Um, we were primarily um, managing the team from Colombo, which was one of the problem we had. Um, again, leading knowledge worker is different. It's not like uh, they will come and uh, tell all the problems to us uh, unless the lead understand the people and lead has, uh, lead has a great uh, trust with the people, great, uh, great uh, relationship with the people, so that the lead can easily identify, proactively identify the problems and solve them uh, uh, fast enough. That is one of the cri uh, main criteria for us. Uh, um, I believe uh, this is very important for any people having offices in Jaffna. And then uh, we had senior leaders uh, visiting from other offices. Again, that was a great experience for us, uh, as well as for the people. Again, I would recommend uh, if you're having other offices all over the world or within Sri Lanka, uh, get your senior people visiting Jaffna offices. That will give a, a good, lively environment for the people who are working there. And then uh, we uh, uh, recommend daily interactions with other offices. Again, it might depend on the, the kind of work they are doing. But then again, the more social interactions they are having with the various people, they will be happy. And obviously, sports and other fine activities. Uh, again, uh, WSET officers in all over the world have similar facilities. Again, we provide all the sports facilities. Uh, uh, we provide lunch and uh, breakfast and so on, dinner and so on. Uh, again, we provided the same set of facilities in Jeff office as well. Again, this is something I would recommend for people to do. Training, uh, again, our primary uh, criteria was people to learn on their own, uh, but uh, we do have onboarding trainings. Again, uh, we would recommend people to, uh, people to do that too. Um, again, uh, that onboarding is not only the technical part of the training, but also non-technical, such as uh, your company culture, letting the people to know about your companies and uh, who are uh, the other people in the company, uh, etc. Again, the initial operations in Jaffna is going to be very small, but uh, you might have a big officers in somewhere else and the big officers define the culture. And obviously the people have to understand that culture and then adhere to those cultures too. And continuous training is essential. Again, uh, there are self-learning materials available like Posra and Udemy. So it's, uh, at, uh, at this stage, I mean, uh, most of the trainings uh, people can learn on their own. But uh, please provide uh, needed facility, meaning sponsoring them to take some of the trainings uh, or, or encourage people to take these trainings so that uh, they can have a continuous lifelong uh, learning experience and obviously uh, bring other tech, uh, other industry experts for tech talks and so on uh, within Jaffna so that uh, they can have a good experience. Uh, often the Colombo people will get this uh, and this is kind of a 
out of the box for them uh, because they can go and visit uh, various other companies for meetups and so on. Uh, in Jaffna, because there are not many uh, companies available, we were primarily uh, working with the University of Jaffna, running several workshops, and uh, we also brought people, but at the same time, um, try to keep Jaffna uh, IT industry as active as possible. And then we do we did have rotation between offices. This is again a very uh, good uh, uh, experience for us. Um, basically, bring Jaffna people to other other offices in Colombo and other areas, as well as bring the Colombo office people to Jaffna so that uh, they have a very good uh, relationship with each other. However, there are some uh, important factors we need to understand on the local IT culture. Again, Jagan has uh, mentioned some of these. Uh, these are some of our experience uh, when initially we hired, I guess, which is no longer there. Maybe it's less now. But this IT and flexible working hours, working from home, all of these are new for Jaffna uh, community. So uh, again, one of the comment one of our people made was uh, they are um, their neighbors were suspicious that this person is working from home all the time, whether he's actually working or not, whether he actually have an office, or he's uh, going to office with uh, very casual dresses like T-shirts and so on, whereas the bank staff will go with uh, the stuff and so on. So there are some kind of suspicious versus uh, some kind of uh, cultural uh, differences uh, which people have to overcome. And also our experience, uh, maybe this is comment from various other relations and so on, um, they prefer stability or potential growth. I mean, IT is a new field and they prefer jobs which are widely known, like bank jobs or uh, engineers or uh, lawyers or whatnot. And they prefer those jobs over IT jobs. Uh, as well as like understanding the online selling and online delivery and the global market is much less. People are primarily looking at it as a local market, rather than they didn't understand the scope of uh, the, the potential of selling to a global market from Jaffna itself. Again, uh, they can sell online uh, or, or various tasks. Right? And retention was one of the primary uh, problem. Um, again, uh, the, we had to give attention to the center of gravity factor of the other pieces. Um, so we uh, we had an experience where most of the people would like to move to Colombo after some time. Uh, again, there are various reasons. Some of the people were uh, out of Colombo, uh, I mean, uh, from southern parts of the country. They studied in Japan University, but they uh, they are uh, their, their houses are in uh, homes are in southern part of the country. So they prefer to go back to Colombo office. Um, so this will cause us to keep the liveliness of the office. Again, that will have a uh, vicious cycle. Basically, when most of the people leave uh, for Colombo office, then the people who are in Jaffna office will feel demotivated and uh, possibly would uh, also start looking uh, to move out. So again, this is something we need to give attention to and, uh, and keep the liveliness uh, of the office, as well as uh, try to hire as many people who can stay in Jaffna office so that we can keep uh, the office running. Um, uh, sorry, yes. Uh, sort of just go ahead a bit faster because we sure. lost. Yes, the this is the last slide. Right? Okay. So attrition, again, our uh, experience on the attrition was very less. Uh, people didn't leave the company. They were primarily moving to Colombo, but uh, I believe the attrition will be also a problem for other people. Again, uh, people are moving for higher studies uh, and uh, they have to be in uh, Colombo or some other area because of the higher studies. Uh, our experience was there are lots of people moving to Singapore for various reasons. Again, uh, the payments are, I mean, salaries are very good, uh, short distance, and people were primarily looking to move there. And also the cultural barriers uh, will also uh, cause some problems. Like, for example, uh, we were um, uh, working with uh, foreign customers like US and UK and so on. So the time difference will be there. and and working from office might not be an uh, might be an option. Again, uh, in Colombo, people generally work from office for like uh, night, uh, midnight to early mornings, etc. But in Vietnam the office, there were cultural differences and uh, social differences. So we uh, wanted to make facilities for them to work in from home, etc. 
So these are some of our experience, again, as key takeaway. Uh, I would, I would uh, uh, stress on the uh, importance of the strong lead on the ground who can correctly identify the problem and get it fixed. That is a major important factor to keep a lively office. Then uh, obviously provide li lively and uh, creative environment, encourage uh, and facilitate continuous learning by sponsoring them. And, uh, um, and definitely there are several people who would help you to set up company, especially talk to any of the University of Jaffna staff. They are super helpful. They help us a lot in setting up the office. Yal IT, Sam can talk about it. Uh, and then Hatch, obviously, they are sponsoring and uh, provide locations, et cetera. So happy to uh, help. Uh, please talk to us. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, talking about your experience, which is actually something very imp important that we need to understand, uh, the experience of people who have set up, because that gives us what's on the ground, really.